on the small prairies, the It's begun. There's more coming, Laura. Trust me. Most heavy goods engines were never designed to go that fast and the 9Fs were no exception. Bollocks. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Cut it there. That intrusive? Extra noise? People talking? Okay, just wait for them. Most goods engines were never really designed to go very fast, and the 9Fs are no exception. So on short out and back runs with a couple of Mark 1 coaches at 25 miles an hour in tow, it's monster. Cut again. He had an alibi for the railway inspectors. He would just say, but the regulator pin keeps falling out. <laughs> but the main line keeps blowing their horns. <laughs> Pardon you. <laughs> in theory, they were classified S160 by the USATC, but in reality, they were built after the. <laughs> like, you can keep going, but it's like. <laughs> That's why, because we're right next to the blowdown valve. And he's shoveling coal. It's all right. Heritage lines know this, and they often use it to their advantage. Auto trains bring in the people. People bring in money. Money pays for projects. It's a no-brainer, really. Die! <laughs> Tell me when. This being a Midland engine, they were obviously fitted with the dreaded Midland axle boxes. Now these were un... I was going to say start again anyway, because you, you have wind noise anyway. Right, go now. <laughs> Stay in one sodding place. Keep a straight face. Panniers could work on branch lines, and many of them did. But they their first bit of foot up. But catchy names are for marketing wars, not real ones where real lives are in real danger. Do you think it looks whimsy? Panniers could work on branch lines, and many of them did, but their first. Oh, for the sake. We'll get this right. I will get this right. This being a Midland engine, it was obviously fitted with the dreaded Midland axle boxes. Now these were produced undersized, very tight tolerances. So when they were... Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, he starts ballsing them up now. It's the last one, it's fine. Eh. <clears throat> okay, composed. Panniers could work passenger trains, and many of them did, but their first four... For sake. Do it again. Do it again. Right, thank you. I can't even remember my own bloody lines. <laughs> Ridiculous, and I'm the bloody scriptwriter. I'll hold up cards. He's an idiot, boys. <laughs> Engine is weird! <laughs> Panniers could work on branch lines, and many of them did, but they're per first primary, first primary, first primary. Most heavy goods engines were never really designed to go that fast, and the 9Fs are no exception. So on short out and back runs with a couple of Mark 1s at 20... I did say Mark instead of runs. 
I was going so well, no. And to anyone who wants to object, as far as I'm concerned, they can take their keyboards and shove them up their Archie bolts. Shush. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Michael Howis, the Howis? Harris. <laughs> oh, what the hell. Um, in theory, it could improve steam efficiency by 20%, but in reality, you were likely to get more than half that with the addition of residual water collecting in the bottom of the chamber. When you couple this with the fact that the... the f f When you couple this with the fact that the I really wanted to say funnel, but it's not the right word, it's chimney. You see, with the valve gear in there and these massive tanks on either side, the only way you sorry. Add this to the fact with the drivers. That'd be the fireman. Westerns. Heritage lines know this and they often use it to their advantage. Auto trains bring in the crowds. Crowds bring in the pee. Bollocks. Shush. British Rail built many new designs for their standard range. For expresses, they had the Britannias. For step. <laughs> Heritage lines know this and they often use it to their advantage. Auto trains bring in the people. People bring in the money. Money pays for projects. Love you too. If that doesn't show loyalty and respect for this class, then what does? Um, one more time. What have I done wrong? Oh, it's gone the whole Donald Trump thing. Yeah. <laughs> but at low speeds, when it's crawling along at 10 miles an hour or so, the ride quality is a little bit rocky because of the pause of the f fucks. Unlike these gauge glasses, which have levers top and bottom, there was a single screw train at the bottom of the glass, and another one just off to one side. Now, if the fireman didn't close these properly when he was checking the levels, then it could give a false reading. So... Uh, oh. It's all getting to me at once. If you think of the influence that the... <laughs> Chat doll monster. Lovely. Sorry, Adam. I will get this right one day. <laughs> Is it going to be today? <laughs> no. I'll let you know. <laughs> give, give me, I'm free for the next like two weeks. <laughs> Why be that cruel? And if the fireman didn't close this properly while he was checking the levels, then there was a danger of it giving a false reading. So over time, there was a. Oh, nearly had it. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> and then allowing the crown to cave in on itself without warning. <laughs> we need a white Brucey. Brucey? I thought Freddy.